guys, welcome back to Tricky Total Transformations. If it's your first time here and you're looking for a place to learn, grow, and heal uh, as a collective, you're more than welcome to stay. Um, thank you all for the likes, comments, subscribes, shares, all that good stuff. Congratulations to our winners in the sub giveaway. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's go ahead and get a prayer. This is going to be a collective reading for overall energy for December. The most important messages for this collective, the ones who watch me, um, only take what resonates, leave what does not. We can switch genders as needed. Um, all right. Mother, Father, God, I call upon you once again. Thank you so much for the wisdom, the sermon, the protection, and aligning with the divine healing and messenger for the highest and greatest good for this collective. I call in Archangel Michael of the highest white light to cast out all false light, all false messages from my awareness, my reading, my energies, and to protect me in this collective. I call upon Archangel Raphael for any healing that needs to be done. I transmit it through this reading for the highest and greatest good. I call upon the Violet Flame Saint Germain to transmit any neuro vibrational energies to the highest octave for this collective, as well as myself. Um, I also call upon my spirit guides and ancestors of the highest white light any other celestial beings or star beings of the highest white light or ascended masters that wish to assist me in this reading for this beautiful collective. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and so it is. I've already shuffled these a bit. I'm going to shuffle them to more cards. Ooh, someone's spying on you and they're lying about it, watching you. Okay. It's a side message for somebody. And it could be an emperor that's in the reverse position. So this is somebody who is um, filled with addictions. Who uh, I like at first a lot of you, it's like an ex or a friend, okay, uh, ex friend, somebody that you no longer talk to. All right. Um, let me cleanse this energy real quick here with some Palo Santo. Um, so a lot of people use smudge to um, cleanse. I use, I believe that say, um, sage brings in, um, calls in your spirit guides. Um, my, don't forget that you have a protector guide, a bouncer guide. You have all these different guides with all these different, um, things that they do for you. A runner guide that goes and finds your, like, lost things, things like that. A joy guide, helps with happiness. But, um, so your job is, to, as you get to know these guides, to give them jobs and delegate them, okay? Um, somebody here probably need, needed to know that. What's the most important messages for this collective overall energy for December, please? For my YouTube collective. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Celebration. Happiness. Getting together with family and friends. Um, gatherings. Festivities. Could be a baby shower, graduation party, holiday parties, things like that. Engagement wedding. Um, happiness. I'll clarify these two, of course. <laughs> Somebody may be celebrating a divorce um, or a breakup or being single um, with the lovers in reverse here. Celebrating, I even heard somebody may celebrate some news that they get about someone who, from, who has harmed them or done them wrong in some way, shape, or form, meaning like finally they can't bother me anymore. You know, they finally been caught and seen for the person that they are. You're going through a transformational period here, Scorpio energy. We also have Gemini energy on the board as well as cancer energy tell me more most important messages for this collective i'll pull from different decks so we'll have lots of different messages only take what resonates for you if it's this is to like kind of confirm what you already know intuitively if it sounds like if it sounds like you're you know parts of your story and it could be fitting for you keep stick it in your pocket for later and ask ask your team for clarification if this reading was for me show me this okay show me the cards i need to see for this collective overall energy for the month of december yeah this was a soulmate for a lot of you or a family member um or kind of somebody you grew up with um but there is some sort of celebration here you may have a reunion with somebody some of you may reunite with an ex and celebrate this um that's not for all of you remember if remember the reasons why you broke up with somebody or why you departed from these people no matter who they are in your life or where they are I mean, like if it's family a friend an ex uh, a you know co-worker somebody you just no longer talk to remember what they showed you and why I always tell people like my clients whenever you go through a breakup or you're thinking about make a pros and cons list and, and keep it and like if they reach back out to you remember why 
you know, and what they actually did and how the relationship was, okay? Um, I feel uh, so somebody may celebrate their creativity as well. Um, I see you getting together uh, around children for some of you. Um, family, possibly chari- doing a charity work for some of you, like buying gifts for kids. I feel like somebody here may do that. This is definitely a past influence, though. Wounded warrior energy here. You are so resilient, collective. You are so very resilient, Sagittarian energy here. This has been, so some of you have an ongoing battle or have had an ongoing battle with an ex or someone from your past, whether this is an ex-partner, an ex-friend, and, you know, someone you're estranged from in the family, whatever it may be, Um, and you're tired. You just want this energy to leave you alone. Like, they could be months and you've not heard anything, but then they, like, try to reach back out, try to get in your energy, okay? Um, you're so, this person has been very, uh, persistent, you, but you've persevered, you've remained strong and courageous, um, you have learned, you've had a strong backbone, okay, you're learned from your past failures, um, you gather in your strengths, and spirit saying stand up for yourself, okay, this is the last stand for this situation for some of you, preparing to write things down, something that was hidden will be revealed for some of you. Even if this part of the story doesn't match, stay tuned because, like I said, I'm going to pull from other decks as well. Most important messages for December for my for the C2 Collective, please. Somebody may be returning from travel or moving back home to, like, a hometown, an area. Somebody may want to move back in with somebody. But this person has a lack of foresight. Um, somebody may be planning to make a move, um, message you. More. Tower. I feel like this person from the past is getting in this tower. Or a shock, something sudden or shocking or a surprise. I feel like somebody is, true characters being made known here. Okay. Not all towers are bad. All right. This was something that was built on a faulty foundation. This person may have caused you a lot of trauma or it could be a group of people. I heard gang stalking could be significant for somebody here. I feel like this person's experiencing a lot of loss and uh, this person, somebody here could be going through a divorce, I've been through trigger warning, domestic violence, abuse of some type, or bankruptcy. I feel like this is, so like, I feel like this person's getting their karma and some of you, yeah, they didn't heal with the star in reverse. They chose not to heal. They feel hopeless. They're in despair. They always focus on the negative. You collective, you focus on the positives. We have um, Scorpio, Aries energy here, and Aquarian energy. Um, This person has a lack of faith, a lack of inspiration, a lack of creativity. They're bored. They do the same thing thing day in and day out. I feel like there is, uh, could be addictions here. They definitely have spiritual entity attachments. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Your anxiety is about to be lifted from whoever has been causing you this um, stress, this picking on you, bothering you, gang stalking you, won't leave you alone. Um, I feel like the divine stepping in, Gemini energy here. There is light at the end of this tunnel. You have been recovering from this situation. Your life is about to improve in a whole new way. You are letting go of negativity and stress. Tell me more. Now, this could be any situation. It doesn't have to be just from the sex. Judgment is here. So, I feel like judgment's been called by um, your spiritual team. Libra energy here. You've done a lot of self-evaluating and healing. You are awakening to a different level. You're having a renewing of your spirit. When this person tries to trigger you or whoever tries to trigger you, I feel like you are able to not be as triggered. Um, Somebody here likes to make snap judgments about others, though, Um, or a group of people for some of you. There could be three people or more that like to gang up, talk shit. and they appropriate bl- blame. I'm seeing you forgive these people no matter, you know, because you know, you're, you have a whole different perspective on the healing journey and 
awakening and things like that because you're growing and ascending yeah whatever it says is coming to light pisces can pisces energy here you're releasing fear secrets are about to be un revealed from this group about this group of people i feel like there's several different people some of these people talk some of these people might not but like you're about to find out uh, something um your anxiety will help your anxiety subside it's a, a truth I do feel it may piss you off or hurt you a little bit, double-edged sword kind of energy, but it's going to bring a lot of clarity um, and able you to heal. I feel like these people have been deceiving themselves. You're learning to regain your composure after you find this out, okay? Can I have an outcome here? I have the page of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here is going to get some bad news while you're celebrating, okay? Meaning like... They may be losing money because of their ignorance. This is someone who did not appreciate you. Clarify the page. Okay. Yeah, your guidance here is to balance your energy when you get this news. Someone may be trying to take money from you or something like that, so be aware of that at this time. Okay. Um, balance your masculine, feminine, your inner, your outer. You have one foot in the spiritual realm, one foot grounded. You're patient. You're going to be at peace. This is going to help bring peace and inner calm to you. You do things in moderation. You have a whole new perspective. This is a period of tranquility and harmonious relationships for you and soulmates. When you leave these people in the past or continue to move forward, okay, yeah, this person is um, about to be sad. They have unrealistic expectations. They're stuck in their ego. They're very conceited. They're oppressed. Someone, this person could have uh, suffered from some, losing a, someone here. I'm so sorry if this happened to you, but I feel like this may have to do with these people that uh, are triggered in, in these addictions and fueled with this stuff. They may have went through a stillbirth, abortion, or miscarriage. Um, and instead of working to heal from that, and I don't know that anybody ever does get over that. I mean, I totally, un I do understand um, miscarriages is, I know I've had one, but, um, and I worked on the medical field and on the OB4, so I do understand that, um, but I feel like this person may, like, instead of, like, going in counseling and working on, you know, healing and moving forward, and, uh, they use it as an ex I feel like somebody might use something like this as an excuse, not you guys, this is someone else. Okay, let me... What is this celebration about? Ah, oh, you're getting a proposal. Could be a romantic proposal or an offer or an invitation. Somebody's taking action. You're following your heart. You're learn you're very attractive. Um, some of you may start dating or be asked on a date. I see you giving affection. Your ideal partner is coming through. Um, this person may try to say they've changed and they are, but just don't believe the bullshit. Um, I feel like this person may be younger than you. This I feel a new energy coming through, and if you're single, um, full of new ideas and proposals. So I, you're just getting some kind of offer. Like uh, this could be love for some of you. This could be business. It's different forms, friendship. Okay, clarify the lovers in reverse. Somebody's in deep regret that they um, that there was a breakup or a divorce. They're in delusion. They miss, feel they missed an opportunity. They're in stagnant energy. They focus on the negative. They're self-absorbed. They're depressed. They're bored. Um, they keep reviewing the past with you. They're very frustrated and weary. Um, while you're meditating and working towards your future, I feel like they're in a fantasizing energy here. They have a fear of change, though. They're indecisive. They're restricted. Um, they have failed negotiations and they have a lack of activity or movement forward. Like this person from your past has not changed is what this is saying. Or these people, okay? Um, clarify the six of cups, please. I feel like somebody here may act out when it comes close to the holidays for some reason. Um, yeah, this person's about to get a lot of bad luck. Okay. For these people with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Their life is about to be in upheaval and disorder. It has been, even despite what they put 
on social media and on the outside. Um, there are external forces that are backing you up on this in this energy and protecting you. This person has a lack of control. They disrupt ev people um, that aren't even bothering them. They unwalk. They don't want change. They're very. In they're having a lot of delays and setbacks. Clarify this nine of wands, please. And you walked away from this person. So you're moving on. You're moving forward because you're so resilient. You're done with this energy from the past. You didn't let this person stop you. And because you didn't let this person stop you, despite what they tried to do, um, gang stalking, um, you know, uh, posting revenge, corn, things like that, um, lying on you, spreading rumors and gossip, you were about to be rewarded. It was a spiritual test, okay? And I know where people are like, well, why was that the test? To see how bad you want it, you know, to make sure that you are on this path. Because this path is not easy, okay? Clarify the three of wands. Many give up on this spiritual path because there are tests, you know, but everything is energy. So there's, everything goes up and down, you know what I mean? And it goes around and around, right? This person failed to listen to their intuition, failed to see you as the high priest or priestess. They misuse their intuition. They are gifted, but they use it for the negative and wrong. They use it to abuse and take uh, advantage of people. Um, they are acting on bias and prejudice. They're very manipulative. They lack emotional control. And because of this, they're getting a huge tower. What is this tower? We're going to, I'll get some different messages in the next set of cards, okay? There's there, a huge fight or battle here conflict, arguments, um, disagreements, opposition, battling, they have a huge, they have a really bad temper, they clash personalities and egos with others, uh, they may try to strike, but I feel like chaos is going to hit them if they even try to mess with you because you are so protective, okay, this, okay, this person um, may be facing unemployment, they're frustrated, um, you faced a lot of adversity from this person. You are spiritually aware of what's going on, and your faith is going to about to be restored. You're going to know that the divine has assisted you in this. Clarify the star, please. Clarify the star. What's the star energy here? Yeah, they're spying on you for sure. Because they feel hopeless. They feel like you can help them out of this. Um, so this is, there's some news that's, been a long time coming about these people or this person and you've needed patience okay you have been very vigilant you're so protected and guarded um this will be fair this person though from your past where these people were very calculating and unconcerned about other feel others feelings like i said they gossip they spread rumors i feel like you're about to travel but i do feel them like spying on you clarify the nine of swords in reverse please you're about to, if you've been having nightmares, um, I feel like it's somehow tied into this person, like maybe chasing your dreams or stuff, something like that, turn around and face them, all right, yeah, this person is working with this devil energy, we're being very sneaky here, um, they're very deceitful, full of lies and trickery, they cheat, they're, they, they may steal something for somebody, something significant and get caught, and that's why they're under this judgment. I do feel very much they've been in spiritual jail. They still are in spiritual jail. But I do feel somebody could actually be going to prison, court or to jail or prison, okay? Um, they are an enemy masquerading as a friend or family member. They're spying. They have a lack of consciousness strategy. They're very resourceful but in the wrong way. Like if they would use this for the good, it would be good, you know? Um, they escape interconnection. They're trying to make a break for it from the devil. But the problem is, is they made a deal with the devil about you. I feel several deals with the devil about a lot of things, but you, they wanted you to fall from the, you, they fall from grace, but they've fallen for grace. They wanted you to lose your home, to have break, you know, if you're in a good relationship, to break up, to have your family turn against you, to have everybody against you, okay? This, this type of person, everything they wished on you is coming back to them times three, you know, because of the law of what you put out comes back. That's why I never wish my enemies bad. I always wish them to do well somewhere else, far away from me. Um, you are being released, you've released yourself from bondage and chains, you've released yourself, you have, you're about to have, if you aren't already full of ambition, you're about to have this, um, but this person, you're not greedy, this person is still very greedy, and inst unstable, independent, and they're at the end of their rope. 
I feel like you are after the end of the group with this energy that keeps it's in this devil energy here. Clarify the devil. Yeah, they're in a lot of pain and conflict, heartbreak. They feel betrayed when they betrayed you. They're projecting. They feel very lonely. I feel like people, all everybody's falling away. They're learning that the, all the people around them, like their true character, the mask is off. They're like they're surrounded of people just like them. Um, They're unhappy, they're full of heartache and sorrow and grief, and they feel alienated, or maybe you felt this way, they're in ill health. Terrified judgment. Sorry this message keeps coming out, but it's here for a reason, someone needs to hear it. So, here you have judgment and moving forward. So, the divine is called judgment on this person, you're about to get some good news because of your, cur your courage and your optimism. Um, you will in your faithfulness, okay? Um, you're already going to be in a whole new energy here. This person could also be like false light. They could be like, well, I'm a member of the church. I'm a standing member. I do this, this, and this. But yet they are not very holy. If you get where I'm going with this. Yeah. They are full of lies and illusions. You have lots of options here. Um you to pick and choose I feel like this person from the, is hallucinating I do feel very much drug energy here clarify the moon drugs or alcohol or both and I do hope that they get clean I really do yep you're having to come up with a nine of pentacles you are self-made you're about to hit your period of independence and wealth and these people that are not meant to go with you where you're going are being cut out or separated, okay? So whoever shows you their true, you know, basically the masks are off, no one can hide behind a mask, truth being revealed kind of energy. For example, like let's say, you know, you have this person and you think of them like your sibling or brother, you know, like, like a sibling to you. They're, you know, they're not related to you. And deep down they're envious of you and jealous of you and they talk shit behind your back and you've never known that you've been friends with this person for 10 or 20 years the mask will fall off. You're going to, these, everybody's true intentions are being revealed to you. Okay. Um, you're about to hit a whole period of wealth and independence, success, financial stability, um, and security, um, a big profit, prosperity with a windfall of wealth. Some of you may get some type of property and this is because of your hard work and you didn't give up and you've proven that you want this right um some of you may like go viral um or gain a lot of more followers if you're doing something like this some of you may get a hidden bonus um unexpected money win the lottery on a scratch off i'm not telling you to go play the lottery but if you you know if you don't play all the time and you feel like oh i feel lucky do it i use energy when i do it and usually i get a winner i haven't done it in a long time but yeah spirit's telling you to take a leap of faith here you're very wise you gained a lot of wisdom if you're you have a business or you're going to start one now's the time it's going to be thriving in 2024 okay you're about to collect on some investments um you're about to be free all right you've matured a whole whole lot here tell me more all right Somebody here may be hesitant, feel they missed an opportunity that, you know, they wasted their talent and potential or they don't have any. No, you do. Okay. You do have talent and potential. You just need to keep pushing forward. The period of stagnancy is happening to you, not for you. It could be, you know, there's people being cleared out of your life and that was why, for example, right? Yeah. You're about to have a happy family too. Ten of cups. Like that's the happiest family you can have, right? Um... I want to get one card each from the tea leaf work. Well, I'll do another a collective reading, of course. I'm going to break it down by signs for you guys, too, um, like I did last time. Um, clarify this um, Knight of Cups and whatever. Let me see. I don't know what's on. And the Three of Cups. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups. The Eagle. And triumph over troubles and obstacles. So your troubles and obstacles, whether caused by another person or group of people or what have you, is coming to an end. You're going to triumph and be successful, right? Tell me about the lovers in reverse, the four of cups, and the two of wands here. 
you have the apple. Temptation will test you and panic, taking vacation physically or mentally. Rest and relaxation is needed at this time. Rest when you're called to. Okay, don't overwork or exert yourself is what I'm getting here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune Reverse and the Six of Cups, please, Spirit. Thank you. October, something about the month of October. Uh, it could be a birthday, a special day, an anniversary. It could be something when a, a serious event happened or something that you started in October. Um, something is falling away from your life, I do feel. Um, or many things that don't, no longer, whatever no longer starts. I'm hearing make room for this abundance, this prosperity. Go through your things. Give way to, to the less fortunate. Um, so this, because like it's just right there waiting to come in. You have a nine of wands here and the eight of cups. Clarify, please, spirit. This one wanted to come out month of June could be significant. It could be somebody's birthday, spiritual love. I feel by June, a lot of you guys will be in a, a new relationship or you'll meet somebody that this is a divinely guided spiritual love. The name Lily or Lilies could be significant as well as eagles. Um, seeing apples, eagles, lilies, or anything that I mentioned here um, in your physical reality or on a video, online, in a picture, is clarification of this reading. We'll say within the next 72 hours. High Priestess Reverse, Three of Wands Reverse, clarify please. It didn't pop out all the way. Chain, a chain of events These will, that will affect your life. So this chain of events has affected your life in a huge way. And because you have been so resilient and you've refused to give up, you're being gifted so many beautiful things. Five of Pentacles. So five, the number five is significant. That is about change. There's five of Pentacles, five of Wands in the Tower. Clarify the five of Pentacles, five of Wands in the Tower, please. This person could be a younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man for some of you. Um, or they could just be somebody that's immature. Or it could be a woman flipping switch to the genders, okay? Um, I feel like that spiritual love that's coming in could be younger. One of you is younger than the other for, for a lot of you. Um, tell me about the star in reverse and the page of swords reverse. The bag, something important such, such as a new job or, or raise. So you're about to get that bag collective. Um, clarify the devil reverse, the three of swords, please. Pin, new job or career, recognition. You're about to hit and start a new job or career or or expand in this path um, or create a new business or something that where you're going to be recognized for your hard work. I feel like in the past you haven't been recognized for your hard work. Clarify the seven of cups, page of wands, and judgment heart love deep affection and caring you have options make sure that you know they are worthy <laughs> meaning take your time don't just jump into a relationship or dating um i will tell you if you are truly want this love of a lifetime love yourself date yourself pour into yourself seriously take yourself out to eat go by yourself buy yourself flowers you know pour into yourself love say your affirmations do your skin care you know those kinds of things um and work on your healing and do the shadow work. And I promise you, you will get that happiness that you've always desired. This is a time of peace and harmony for your heart, okay? Clarify the Nine of Pentacles and the Moon Reversed. You have shield. You do need to defend yourself when it comes to others, okay? This is a journey that was physical or mental. Scissors. This, you're going to have some disappointment in some people, places, or things. I feel people are a group, okay? Clarify this page of pentacles, the um, temperance, and the ace of wands, please. Firecracker, spirit of excitement, and you will have plenty of material things with the bowl, okay? So even if, like, parts of this reading did not resonate with you in the, and prior to this, we're going to, um, you know, cleanse the energy up a bit. I'm not going to, I believe the reading from yesterday may tie into this one and for some of you. Um, you may want to watch it where I pulled my own cards here. I know everybody has a different story, um, but let's let's see what let's check into some spiritual things here, okay? This is the Gateway of Light activation by Kyle Gray. Spirit for this beautiful YouTube collective for the month of December. What can we expect? You have Emerald Tablet Activation, Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, and Connection, Conscious Manifesting. So your thoughts are creating your reality. You're learning to consciously manifest what you want instead of know what you don't want. 
they're learning about cosmic or order and divine alchemy or becoming the master alchemist orion activation supernova recreation renewal rebirth by light so you're being rebirthed by light going through a period of whole renewal after all of the things that you've been through throughout your whole entire life up until now it's all happened for a reason i feel like you chose this life to come into and these are the things the things you've been through you had to go through to spiritually awaken you so you could share your light and help others okay the Akashic star Stargate is here. You are being aligned with your purpose. You're at a crossroads. You can choose anything you want to do because there are no wrong paths here. So whatever you do, it's going to be successful. It's going to be great. Okay. Ancestral realm. Your ancestors are assisting you and with getting on this path. Um, you are having a karmic release. You're healing your lineage, your family, and you're learning to set clear boundaries. Yes, boundaries is a part of self-love as well. You, a lot of you, I feel, have always wanted to keep everybody happy, nobody fighting. You've been over backwards. You get your own feelings hurt. You don't stand up for yourself or open your mouth. You just do what everybody wanted you to do your whole life. And it's a conditioning that comes back from your childhood from abuse, possibly, for a lot of you. Um, I feel like you're finally learning to set those boundaries, which is enabling a higher heart activation. You're learning to drop your shields. A divine love is coming. Your heart is being is healed. Shambhala initiations. You need to retreat to recharge. You're learning to trust the process and stepping into your dharma, your life's and soul's purpose. Is there anything else in this deck? Okay, yes, there is. Oh, I felt a couple more, and here they are. We have, you're also getting, you need to create a sacred space, okay? Somewhere where you can meditate, do your things at. Sacred inner space. Sacral chakra is being balanced out or um, upgrades for some of you. You're learning about your own tenderness and sensuality and star being, star being healing codes. You're getting important information from your star ancestors in the sky. Your wounds are being healed and you are recharging. So if you feel tired lately or you need to rest or if you and you haven't and like things like having like cut fingers like me, losing your voice like my kid, um, the, the divine will put you down if you don't listen, okay? Like, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy here. I'm so, so happy for you guys. Like, you all deserve it. You truly, truly do. Let me grab a beautiful unicorn deck here. It's probably going to be a pretty long reading. Um, unicorns may be significant. Um to some of you. Everybody has a unicorn and a dragon. Okay. Um, they're in the uh, ethers. Um, they assist you with different things. Mine's name is Amethyst. And yes, she has purple in her. <laughs> if you'd like to meet your unicorn, um, set in meditation, show yourself in a divine white and golden light and invite your unicorn in. What do they look like? If you can, if you're not a seer, what do they feel like? What do they smell like? What do you, or what do you know or think they look, you know, what are you feeling they look like? Do they have wings? Do they don't? What color is their horn? Their mane? Okay. What's their name? You have the answers within collective and I feel like you're learning that. You're learning to tap deep, 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 deeply in. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. I love this. I love this. This is, this is, oh gosh. I love you guys and you all deserve this so much. Okay. So you are going through a unicorn portal. It says, focus your light and listen for a message. This is where you do what I just said. Call upon your unicorn. You know, talk to them, get to know them. What do you feel they look like? And then um, listen for your message from them. They've been with you since you were born. Cocoon of white light. Rest in perfect love. Understand oneness. Okay, so rest and relaxation. R&R &R is needed. You're learning to understand that you are everything and everything is you. All right. New opportunities. Declutter your life. Glimpse a magical doorway. So there is a divine magical doorway being opened for you. It goes to the end of the rainbow where your new treasures are, where your new opportunities are being um, revealed to you. Pool of Christ light. Open your heart and spread unconditional love. That's what you're doing. Cosmic pearl, you're, which is going to help expand your psychic gifts. You're getting an expansion of your gifts. Open the gate to the end, which helps you guys tap into your angels channel. Hear them, feel them, see them, heal with them, you know? 
you guys all have the ability to do what I'm doing and every other reader and magical person out there. We all have these talents, gifts, and abilities because everything is within you. It's about learning to tap into that, practicing your, your gifts, you know? Um, the cards are a tool. It's just like money. It can be used for good or bad, you know? Depends on your intention, which is what pure intention. You're, you have pure intention. You're finding clarity. You're surrendering your ego. Um, you need to uh, let go and uncord relationships. Do cord cuttings. Let go now. And forgiveness is freedom. Open to abundance. We, you deserve and accept plenty and prosperity. I'm actually doing a, a cord cutting next weekend um, from karmic people in my life, um, people that no longer resonate with me. And I'm thinking about recording it. So I think I'm going to record it for you guys. Um, I'm doing it with um, my business partner, the High Priestess, and um, so so it's like a, a little group of people, my my soul family um, group of people, and you guys are my soul family too. But my soul family that I can you know that are here and around and um i know we're gonna do it something on tiktok but if you guys and i can do core cuttings for you of course we could do it with reiki um i do mine a couple different ways i do reiki i do um a ritual um that works for me okay but you guys if you guys don't know how to do the maroon or you're interested in one like um let me know and i would just you know um I'm not going to like charge you like hundreds of dollars like most people. I would just, you know, we will come up with something um, that's fair for all, you know. Okay, they're telling me to pull these up. For this beautiful YouTube collective, what's um, the month of December for this YouTube collective, please? You are doing great. You're stepping into a period of greatness. Going through your, your glow up period. People are going to start to make comment your skin. Like how much you've changed in your looks. Like how you're glowing. Because you set yourself free from the people in the past. Feminine energy is here. You could be a feminine or dealing with a feminine. Stepping into your goddess, your queen energy, your divine feminine. You're deeply in tune with your emotions, which is enabling you to heal your feminine energy. Everybody has that, right? And it's going to help you step into this prosperity, this wealth. Spirit saying, be open to receive this prosperity and this healing. You may need to do a ritual, like I talked about cord cutting or a prosperity ritual or healing ritual. So get excited, okay? It's your time to shine. Yes, there will be challenges, but remember your ancestors are here to help you. You are the one that's breaking these generational and ancestral curses and setting them free, okay? This is your initiation. So all these challenges that you're going through right now, people from the past popping up, people trying to trigger you, these are part of your initiation because your ancestors and spirit team know you are reliable. And so these endings have to happen for this for these new things to come in because what is for you no one will be able to take away from you so pay attention to the endings who's living your life why what's going on you know um your angels are here to assist you pay attention they're sending you signs your spirit team sending you signs pay attention to synchronicities um even colors like you see like the same colored car and there's two or three of them in a row that is a sign whether it's parked or driving collective start looking these things up what is the spiritual meaning of the color of the car i know spiritual meaning of the name and what what's the car name um look at the spiritual meaning of your name also the animals that you're seeing like if maybe you all you always see you know your dogs of course have you ever looked up the meaning of your dog what they mean what they stand for what they were born to do um the spiritual meaning of the type of dog you have or your animals um, try doing that. Like, there are signs everywhere that we look and turn to. What's your favorite scent? Why is it your favorite scent? Is there a spiritual meaning behind it? Like, seriously, start looking at things through your spiritual eyes and looking up the meaning will help you. All right, you are going through this metamorphosis. You have been for quite some time. The choice was yours and you chose you. Water sign could be significant. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you need to drink more water. Also, use water for your manifestations could help you. I'm also hearing with your energetic hygiene, take... Um, you know, salt baths or bath intention 
and you can even put intentions into your food guys um for us to relaxation are needed dolphins crabs scorpions can be significant as well as white butterflies fairies i do see someone here maybe having a baby or someone near you is and you are the winner you are stepping into a victory the victory is yours you are about to have a huge victory in defeating your enemy or opponent or these people the ops who tried to take you down what else spirit yeah your enemies are being illuminated to you the truth is being made known to you it's time for you to take a vacation i feel like you're about to step into so much abundance you'll be able to your life will be more like a vacation um and it's time take time to breathe out this was in here in this deck and i haven't like i go through these and shuffle them yeah <laughs> spirit saying stand in your truth okay you're being made the truth is being illuminated to you what's fact what's fake um the masks are coming off listen to your intuition you're learning to trust your intuition okay and this is a part of these tests and this initiation is you learning to trust you yes you can go to your guides for help but here at the end of the day you know you need to be able to to t rely on you and trust you okay you can have them clarify but they're clarifying what you that you what you already know right let's tap into the divine masters here real quick Month of December, please. Month of December for my beautiful YouTube collective. Also, some people are saying they're commenting, liking, and it's not showing up. So, Mary Magdalene, these uh, divine masters wish to work with you or may. Uh, you might start seeing symbols of them. You can look up signs of them or look them up. I encourage you to get to know more about them. Um, Mary Magdalene, you are the answer. You're being guided to your purpose. You are the sacred vessel. Kasumi, you're going through it. This is confirmation. Going through an initiatory experience. Your current situation is initiating your gifts. So all the bullshit you're going through right now, all the hard times, the people leaving your life, or the people that are projecting their hurt and pain onto you, making you feel left out. This is for a reason. Often we are alone on different periods of the art, this spiritual journey. Well, Marians are here. Your clairvoyance is being activated. Your psychic awareness. You're being more sensitive to energy. And you're learning to trust your intuition. Hanumam is here. You are the devoted warrior. Let God's love hold you in strength. Anything else, Spirit? You want another one? There it is. Is there any others? I don't there it is. I knew there was at least one more. Okay. We're good now. <laughs> Archangel Michael and Faith and Archaea Faith are here. This is your spiritual calling. You're divinely protected. You're having a breakthrough moment. The Buddha is here, which you're going through a period of heightened awareness. Make peace with your thoughts and your world. Commander Ashtar is here. You're a leadership is me you're going through a leadership activation take time to evolve trust in your ability to guide others lakashimi and ganesh are here you're in a prosperity vibration you are attracting health wealth and happiness um a lot of you guys are expressing your gratitude and this is something that i need to tell you i'm going to make another video on it i did it on tiktok but anyways here's some things about gratitude you may or may not know Gratitude shields you from negativ negativity, it rewires your brain, it eliminates stress, it helps you heal, it improves sleep, it boosts your self-esteem and performance, it enhances the law of attraction, and it improves your relationships. So every day, I was, I was hearing, you know, name three th at least three things you're grateful for every, each and every day. You can always do more or keep a gratitude journal. It will help you manifest things into your reality. Vajaragani, you're transcending fear. You're facing... Facing fear leads to fearlessness. You're embracing your power in the month of December Collective, and which is going to help you accumulate wealth because it was right there and it was off to the side a little bit. This is so beautiful. Like, so freaking beautiful. Let me get you an affirmation. Here and now. The divine wants you to be present in the present, the here and the now. That's all there really is, right? And freedom, you're being set free through your face and transformation. 
going to read these. Here and now, the future does not exist and the past is gone. I focus on the present moment. I have confidence in life again because here and now there is no danger. Everything happens when my soul is ready. You can use these affirmations to help lift your vibration and help you heal. Freedom through faith. I call my thoughts and rise above fears. I free myself of all doubt by entrusting my doubts to God. I have faith in God's perfect timing and placement. I trust his will and find freedom. Now, to me, God is neither feminine nor masculine god is an energy um it's not something in the sky and whatever god is to you that is fine um i've thought about um speaking more on why i come to these beliefs um and some truths that i feel and let you guys decide for yourselves um but i'm gonna work on that with uh, my business partner because she's actually a minister as well but she is a minister that has like the same beliefs that I do she's been through a spiritual awakening and you know we're not being controlled by dogma or religion and it's being twisted and turned and you know for fear and things like that God is love not fear right Tra you're going through a transformation transformation I am constantly evolving I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow I'm aware of my progress and open my wings to the light beautiful 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 energy okay soul truth message please they gave you two today what expectations do i have that are impossible to meet the expectations we have are mostly delusional or impossible to meet when we then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met it's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Today's soul action, be grateful. This is confirmation. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. You also have, what am I grateful for right now? Now you cannot tell me. You saw me shuffle these. You can't tell me that I am not a true divine reader. Like, come on, I can't make that up. You saw me shuffle. You saw me pick up different decks. That's how this works, guys. What am I grateful for right now? Adapt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is an antidote to all our problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our state. Today's soul action. The universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that which we are focused on. Close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and think of three things today for which you are grateful for. Notice the abundance growing within you. I hope that this reading helped you guys. I love you all so, so much. Remember to be the light you wish to see in the world. If you guys want to see a change, guess where the change starts? The change starts within you, within me, okay? Within us. I love you all until we meet again.